Hey guys, I know a while back I had posted a video about my simmer pots that I give for gifts. So I went ahead and threw together this really quick video to show you how I do these. So if you're interested, keep on watching. The happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe First step's the grocery store. We just need some oranges. Make sure they're not too big so they can fit into the jar. Star of the show here are cranberries. Fresh, look prettier, but the dried ones last longer. And you need some apples. Variety really doesn't matter. Just buy the cheapest ones you can find. And then of course we need some cinnamon sticks. Some wide mouth 16 ounce canning jars. And finally, some whole cloves. I buy mine in the bulk section because it's cheaper, but you can just get them in the bake aisle. Now that we have all of our groceries, we just need to get our fruit dehydrated. So the first step is gonna be slicing your apples and oranges into quarter inch slices. Easiest way to do this is with a mandolin. Don't be like me, use the hand guard. Place your apple and orange slices on a parchment lined baking sheet in a 200 degree oven until mostly dehydrated but slightly soft, about three to four hours. Now it's time to fill your jars. Just place three to four slices each of apple and orange, two cinnamon sticks, about a quarter cup of cranberries, and a tablespoon of whole cloves. Make sure you check out the link in the description for the recipe, which also includes a printable for these cute little labels that you're gonna wanna include with your jars so that people know how to use them. Forgive my lovely little setup here. You guys know space is at a premium. I would normally like these to be more full. I'm not sure why they weren't this time, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't wanna go buy more cranberries and stuff. So, I mean, there's plenty of stuff here to make this smell good. It's just, it's a little, empty for some reason. So I have a feeling that my um, fruit just shrunk down a lot more than it usually does, but you can always just add more cranberries to fill up the rest of the space if you want to. But what I'm gonna do is I found some velvet ribbon. It's not wired or anything. I'm just gonna find how long it needs to be, just so that it overlaps a little bit. And then we'll cut that. You can just put this up on the lid. I'm actually gonna do it down here so that it hides the fact that my jar isn't as full as I would like it to be. I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue under this side here. And that will hold that in place for me. And then I can do this tightly and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the actual ribbon and flip it around here pull it tight and secure it and that looks much better now you can't tell that it's not full all the way and then I'm gonna take this little twine. And I probably need it to be about that long. So I don't have a hole punch for this. Otherwise I would totally use a hole punch. But because I don't have a hole punch, what I'm gonna do is just tack this with a little bit of hot glue on here. And then I'm gonna tie the bow on top of it. There we go. Decorate these any way you want. You can get super fancy or not. I am not a super fancy decoration girl. That is my sister, 1000%. She would do all kinds of stuff to make these look cute, but that is not me. And then that's it. I will take these and give them to friends. They make fantastic hostess gifts. I absolutely love them. <laughs> these 